Perplexity recently made its Comet browser available for everyone and you might be wondering what's the big deal. Well, I had access to its pro plan through my student ID and in this video, I will show you 7 amazing use cases of Comet out of which the first one is my personal favorite because it saves me money and the fifth one is really cool because it blew my mind when I first saw it. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can use the first link in the description of this video. It will take you to the official Comet download page. Click on download Comet and enter your email ID. If you have a student email ID from your institute, I highly recommend using it because you will get one month of pro plan for free which usually costs $20 per month and you can extend it up to 2 years for free by watching the video linked in the description. For now, I will enter another email because I have already used my student ID. Click continue with email, you will receive a verification code, copy and paste it here. The download will start automatically, if it doesn't start, you can just click here. Right click on the installer and select run as administrator. You will see this pop up, click on start install and the Comet browser will start installing. Once the installation is complete, click on launch Comet and you will see this animation introducing you to Comet. Click on get started. You can import your bookmarks and other data from other browsers or just skip this step. Add a profile name here and select any of these planets as your profile icon. Click continue and we have a few options here. You can read them and select the necessary options and click start Comet. Now you can see Perplexity's Comet browser. You can see we have the option to sign in again. Use the same email ID that you used before. You will again receive a verification code. Enter it. You can now see the pricing plans but don't worry all the use cases in this video are from the free plan and if you click on education you will see that after verifying your student id you will get free access to the pro plan. There are some other benefits as well. Now let's check out the browser. You can see this is the interface of the Comet browser and it is very similar to most other browsers and AI chatbots. You can use it just like other AI tools and you can see if you search something it first provides some search results and then gives us exactly what we are looking for. The first use case as I already said is my personal favorite because it can save me money. You can see I am on Hostinger's payment page and the total price of my selected plan is $191. But there is an option to enter a coupon code and get a discount. Now I will open the Comet Assistant by clicking here and type find me a coupon code so that I can get a discount on this page and hit enter. You can see Comet is now browsing all over the web and looking for discount codes. Remember that the price is currently $191 so that you can see the discount after it gets applied. Comet has found some coupon codes. I will now enter apply the code that works and you can see that Comet has taken control of my page so that it can test the coupon codes. You can see this blue outline here which indicates that the assistant is controlling the browser. This process can take some time depending on how easy it is to find the discount codes and you can use it on all websites that require payments and have the options of applying discounts. In my case, Comet took about 3 to 4 minutes. You can see that Comet has found a coupon code and our price has been reduced from $191 to $172 which is a $19 discount and you can see that it is still trying to find even more discount. If the assistant doesn't stop on its own, you can just click pause and now you can see why this use case is my personal favorite. The second use case of Comet is to summarize web pages. You can see I am on the Wall Street Journal page and there are many news articles here. I can't waste my time going through all of them. So what I will do is click on the summarize button and you can see that Comet has summarized the news for us and also grouped them into different sections like business and finance, editorials, lifestyle, etc. You can also ask the AI to give you news on a specific topic. For example, I will tell it to give tech related news and you can see it has provided me with only tech news. This way you don't need to read entire web pages and you can save your time. After web pages, Perplexity Comet can also summarize videos for you. Let's say I don't want to watch the entire MKBHD video on the iPhone 17 Pro. So I will just click on assistant and you can see we have some pre-built prompts. I will use the second one, extract key takeaways. You can see the AI has summarized the video for me with key points like maximalist design, cameras, pro features, performance, cooling and much more. Not only this, but you can also compare what different reviewers are saying about the same product. You can see I have a Mr. Who's the Boss video on iPhone 17 and I want to know how his opinions differ from MKBHDs. So I will open a new tab, type at the rate, select the two tabs where the videos are open and enter the prompt, compare both these videos and tell the key takeaways and problems. 
hit enter and the AI will compare both these reviews for us. You can see this awesome table that shows MKBHD's and Mr. Who's the Boss opinions on similar topics like camera and you can see both mentioned the non-availability of 8K videos and light flares in the iPhone 17 Pro. Similarly, you can also know about durability, performance, battery and much more. Another amazing use case is that you can extract information from videos without even opening them. For example, you can see this is Ryan's 50 days 50 state series and these two videos don't have the state's name mentioned in their thumbnails. I want to know which state Ryan travels to in these videos. So I will open the assistant in the side panel, click on the screenshot tool and select the video thumbnail. I will now ask which state is Ryan traveling to in this video. The AI will now analyze the video and you can see it says Ryan is traveling to Minnesota which is kinda true because the video does start in Minnesota but I want to know where he is going next in the video. So I will ask again with a better prompt which state does Ryan go to after Minnesota in this video. You can see the AI says Ryan goes from Minnesota to Iowa in this video which is actually true. You can check out the video to verify. You can also find locations from videos. For example, I will select this video and ask in which state is this airplane Airbnb located and the AI tells me it's in Wisconsin. This way, you can use Comet to get information from YouTube videos without even watching them. You don't even have to open YouTube to search for videos. Just type the video name in the prompt box like open the MrBeast video where he meets Ronaldo. And you can see the browser directly opens a new tab and plays the video on MrBeast channel with Ronaldo in it. You can also summarize lengthy research papers and reports and get specific information that you need. Here I have a random AI report with over 450 pages and I am definitely not going to read it. I will ask the assistant what does this report talk about and you can see it has summarized everything for me and grouped the summary into different sections so that it is easier to read and understand. You can also ask for specific information like which countries does this report mention and you can see the AI goes through the entire report and lists the countries mentioned like the US, China, Canada, France etc. This way you can get whatever information you are looking for without reading lengthy research papers or reports. Now, Let's say you are researching something and have multiple tabs open. You can just tell the AI to group similar tabs together and you will see the tabs grouped into sections like news, shopping, iPhone videos and other YouTube videos and reports. You don't even have to close these tabs manually. Just type close all YouTube tabs and you will see all YouTube tabs are closed. Similarly, you can ask the AI to close the remaining tabs. This way, you don't even have to use your mouse to open or close new tabs. Just use the chat box and you can do everything from here. So these were all the amazing use cases of Perplexity's Comet browser. You can start using it from the link in the description and as I already said, if you use a student email id, you will get access to the pro plan for free. If you want to watch a detailed step by step tutorial on how to download the Comet browser, then you can check this video right here. If you like this video, then do drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more such helpful videos. Thanks for watching.